Welcome to our 3D AutoCAD designing tutorial series. In this first video, we're going to dive into the basics of 3D AutoCAD. When you first open AutoCAD, you'll encounter this interface. To start creating your 3D model, click on Start Drawing. On the top toolbar, you'll find various options for creating 3D objects such as boxes, spheres, cylinders, cones, and more. However, if you don't see these options, don't worry. Let's enable them. In the bottom right corner, you'll find the settings. Click on it, and you'll see several options. Make sure that 3D modeling is enabled. Initially, when you install AutoCAD and open it for the first time, the Drafting and Annotation option is enabled, which only allows you to draw 2D objects. Let's compare all the three settings side by side. When you keep the setting to Drafting and Annotation, then this menu bar will be displayed. Here, you primarily work with 2D objects such as lines, polylines, etc. In the Modify section, you can modify these 2D objects. And if you choose the 3D basic setting, then this menu bar will be displayed in which you create 3D objects and modify 3D objects, you can also draw 2D objects as well. Lastly, if you choose the 3D modeling setting, this menu bar will be displayed. In this setting, you'll find some other advanced features tailored specifically for 3D modeling tasks. Each setting caters to different needs and preferences, offering a tailored workspace for various tasks in AutoCAD. Depending on your project requirements, you can switch between these settings to access the tools and commands you need. In this tutorial series, we will mostly use the 3D modeling setting. In the bottom right corner of the AutoCAD interface, you'll find a small icon with three lines. Clicking on this icon opens up a menu bar, allowing you to customize your drawing environment to suit your preferences. Let's explore some of the options available in this menu. The first option is Coordinates. When enabled, you'll see the coordinates displayed on your drawing canvas. As you move your cursor, you'll notice the coordinates updating in real time. Now, let's disable the coordinates. As you can see, they vanish from the drawing canvas. Similarly, you can customize other aspects of your drawing environment. For example, you can enable or disable model space and grid depending on your workflow preferences. In addition to these customization options, it's essential to set your preferred units for the drawing. Clicking on the settings tab allows you to easily access the unit setting. Here, you can specify the units you want to use, ensuring accuracy and consistency in your designs. Now that you know how to customize your drawing environment, you're ready to start creating 3D designs in AutoCAD.